All right, Shalom. I want to start by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto you. How about Shemar Rashad, by Shemar Kakodash? On us to the Apostle and Elders of Great Millstone. Shalom. So I came out to push the word of sincerity and the truth. Yeah, and I just want to do, uh, you know, shed a couple words on, or shed some light on uh, principles of uh, human growth. You know, I was just basically meditating on a lesson that Elder Ariello was doing, speaking about, um, you know, in, in regards to basically uh, competence. You know, competence goes into confidence. And, um, you know, as your confidence blooms, your, uh, especially, yeah, your competence as well as your confidence blooms, you know, that's the uh, essential building blocks to um, growth, you know. And when you think about the concepts of growth, you know, and I'm pretty sure brothers have grown things within their life, seen things grow within their life, um, you know, as, like as it is written in Psalms. You know, how you shall be like a tree planted. You know, it's essential building blocks for anything to grow, for your bones to grow. It, it takes, you know, minerals and things of that nature. You know, it's, it's a, and it also it's a process. You know, time is the major key component uh, with growth. Same thing like, for instance, uh, dealing in terms with um, plants. You know, it needs water, it needs uh, a central amount of sunlight. You know, it needs, um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a particular way that you do plant, you know, and all these different um, components combined, you know, and thoroughly balancing out that plant, you'll see it start to uh, spring forth. Of course, you put the seed within the ground and it germinates and things of that nature. And then you'll see eventually it buds and depending on what type of um, plant whatever you're planting, you know, whether it's, you know, a small flower or something as big as a, a tree or something like that, for example, you know, it, everything takes time, you know, and it can be grown, you know, same thing when we're dealing with human growth and mental development, you know, there's always a, a method, method of, of growth and the scriptures gives us those methods of growing. You know, which I'm going to go into the scriptures, but I'm going to uh, read a few points on this uh, site because they broke it down to a um, couple of categories and under development principles of human growth and development. Development is continuous, which the scriptures speak about uh, diligence, you know, being consistent, you know, develop, you know, is I think um, you have the word, you know, develop and then we're basically or develop like an envelope. It's something that enclosed to develop it to take away uh from from basically that which is closed and that goes into that uh your your hidden poten potential tapping into the inner you the more you tap into yourself and uh, stay consistent with whatever uh you're you're involved in and with you know in the context of this is the truth the knowledge you'll see growth by and by you might you might not get everything down within the first couple months within the first couple years but as you aggressively study as it is written in Second Timothy two and fifteen, study to show thyself approved. You will see doors of understanding opening, things that you can expound on a lot better with clarity. You know, and that's just the teaching aspect, and there's so much more of personal growth. You know, like I said, discipline within your walk, knowing uh, what to say, what not to say, how to say it, when to say it. You know, but continuing on, development is gradual. You know, anything that gradually graduates. You know, it it goes from one glory to the next, you know, and that gradual, those gradual stages, stage, stages of growth might vary from person to person. All right. And that's where the humility comes in, at, because you might come in the truth before or after an individual um, come in older, you know, come more experienced in the world and. And that individual might exceed you uh, um, in the spirit. But it's fun when you understand how your growth works. Because this thing isn't a thing where you compare yourself to the man next next to you also. You have a lot of men that, that like to um, look beside and, and try to run faster than the man beside you. This is this is this truth is like it unto a race, but this is our own individual race. So it takes your own individual growth, your own personal development, you know, in order to win that race. So it's it's about being the best man that you could be. 
you know, and it's a lot of categories. I definitely want to jump into some scriptures. But um, it says development is sequential. Rate of development varies person to person, like I was just now expounding upon. Development proceeds from general to to specific. That seems like a pretty good um, uh, uh, notion to, uh, you know, basically go a little bit further into on number five, how it uh, proceeds from general to specific. But it says most traits are correlated in development. Growth and development is a product of both hereditary and a heredity and environment. Development is predictable. Development, there is a constant interaction between all factors of development, and that's true. And these these categories, brothers, could uh, you know go to the you know find the silver lining within themselves. This is something I, I'm probably gonna Lord willing just read uh, under five and. Number, yeah, uh, number, I want to definitely read 10 too. So I'm just going to read these and I'm going to jump into the scriptures. But under five, it says development proceeds from general to specific. Development proceeds from general to specific in all areas of development. General activity always proceed, precedes specific activity. For example, the fetus moves its bo whole body but it's incapable of moving specific responses. With respect to emotional behavior, infants approach stages and unusual objects with some sort of general fear response. And uh, also number 10, there is a constant interaction between all factors of development. Development in one area is highly related to development in other areas. For example, a child who has a good health can be active socially and intellectually. Right, so there's always a connection with uh development you know for instance if you're consistent in one thing it's it's not as hard for you to be consistent within another thing because you know what it what it takes um to be of such you know you know you, you know you got to wake up a certain time to get you know like if you're into basketball you might transition you know your your love of the sport you might be consistently getting up at a certain time you know uh actively running and things of that nature and you might want to change up your um you know sport of the course that you're in and you know you already have a lot of the credentials already down pat because you have previous and prior experience within that field of sports so you know that the discipline of the timing time and essential diet you know what to eat and um the, the 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 ways to push yourself which are the basic what they call the building blocks of what it takes to grow and the truth comes with particular building blocks and these are examples of building blocks this is of second timothy one and five and besides this give all diligence that's that consistency that constant effort that we all put forth which even effort itself is is the you know, exume, you know, exertion of, of, of energy, exertion of spirit. Add to your faith, because faith is the, the, the uh, you know, essential. That's the, the first thing that you're blessed with. It's just speak about how faith is a gift, you know, believing. And it says, virtue and to virtue knowledge. Right. And with knowledge, it you have to be consistent if you want to know things. You want to have a, a leveraged understanding on all the, the mysteries and the understanding of the scriptures. You know, you you know, it, it takes a, a course of, uh, you know, aggressiveness, constantly getting within the word, studying, you know, diligently um, apprehending it and, um, you know, attacking, aggressively attacking, you know, these different words that, you know, you might not have fully lodged within your vessel. And then if you learn it, you don't get it the first time, keep going, you know, being patient with your growth. That's what I said also earlier, because you have sometimes men that get a little irrational and they get rash and they get sometimes impatient and they feel like they're not growing. And then their their confidence starts starts to, um, you know, fade away and they they give up, you know. Like I said, the building blocks that was there to hold them stern and, and, and stable, it starts to break apart. 
you know, from lack of being consistent, from, you know, not staying on top of your, 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 your scriptures speak about this as a first love in the book of Revelations, you know, whenever you stay away from a love for, for a point of time, you know, and you don't do the things that you are, you used to do, then that type of love, you know, will, will by and by start to um, fade out, you know. But continuing on, it says, and besides this, give all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge, and to knowledge temperance, and to temperance patience, patience goes into the suffering, patience to suffering, temperance the balance, you know, and to patience godliness, and to godliness brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness charity. For if these things be in you and abound, they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Yahweh Shah. But he that lack of these things is blind and cannot see far off, and hath forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. Verse 10. Wherefore, the rather brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, ye shall never fall. Right. So it's about that consistency and that constant effort. And like I said, what you may produce might be different than what a man may understanding might produce within a span of time. But it's fine because we're all working on our spirits through the spirit and power. Yeah, how about you? I was shy, you know, differently in our courses. You know, some men have to work on their patience. You know, some men have to work a lot on their knowledge and their understanding of this, this word. You know, some men have to work on their humility, you know, and we've contracted so many spirits from this um, world that it, a lot of these things take time, some more than others. Some, like I said, may hit the ground running. You know, some men, it takes time. And, and that's why the scriptures speak about how uh, him that is weak, you know, him that is weak in the uh, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Hashem, I was shy to receive thee, not to any evil disputations, because there's going to be a lot of men that's feeble and they don't even understand how to grow. You know, a baby. A baby, you know, knows how to drink, you know, but they don't, you know, how to, uh, you know, actually uh, consume milk. But they don't understand the dynamics, you know, sp especially as an infant of yeah, me drinking these these this milk. This mi milk comes with essential minerals and building blocks, you know, mi uh, uh, and, you know, vitamins and things of that nature to help me grow and become stronger. You know, they don't understand it. But, you know, that's why as a mother, a mother being a caretaker, they know the times to uh, feed the child, you know, burp them, time for them to go to sleep, change their diaper, you know, go from uh, liquids to eventually growing up, getting teeth to uh, get on the solids and what solids they ought to eat. Because just to ha because you have teeth, you know, you got a little bit of teeth coming in. That doesn't mean you have to, uh, you know. You enjoy a steak because you see your father at the uh, dinner table eating a steak or eating a ch eating chicken. That's a fully grown man. And that's why the scriptures speak about babes desiring a sincere milk needed that they may grow there therein. So this is Colossians 2 and 6. As ye have therefore received Yahweh Shai Mashiach the Lord, so walk ye in him, rooted and built up in him. And established in the faith. Yeah, your faith being established goes into uh, stabilize, you know. And the root system that we built upon is the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. You know, you have the term understanding. That's something that you stand under, you know. And that's where you have the term edification. Edification is to build edifice or edificio, edificio. You know, to um, to build with up, with up, and are we building with a literal uh, mortar, you know, and, and things of that nature, bricks, like in the ancient world? No, we're building through understanding and 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 teaching this word, all right? Because we've had men that went through these courses of difficulty, courses of spirituality to grow and and leverage their understanding in the spiritual spirituality of Yahweh Shemal Shah 
and we just follow the path of our forefathers. And it's as simple as that, you know, and even as diverse of a book this is, each and every one of our forefathers were um, uniquely different. You see? Same thing with each and every brother within this faith of the 144,000 and one-third. All of them are uniquely different. And it's that's why it's, it's, it's essential to uh, eat this roll. Job 8 and 8, For inquire, I pray thee, of the former age, and prepare thyself to the search of their fathers. Right. So that's even a key component of building within your knowledge. Research. Searching the path of your fathers. What did your fathers go through? What did your forefathers go through? You know? And that's really what it's talking about, your forefathers, not necessarily our fathers in t today's time. It's talking about these scriptures. All right. Jeremiah, Job, Isaiah, Yahweh Shai, you know, Peter, Paul, the disciples, the, the apostles, the prophets, the kings, the priests, you know. And as you read and you learn different men walks, you see when they took a step back, they, they stayed humble in certain circumstances. They stay quiet. And you see even the, the failures that certain men actually um, had, but they kept going and they kept and stayed faithful. That's what each and every one of these men have in common. And like it says, going back in Peter's, if these things be in you and abound, if they abundantly grow within your your, your spirit, you will never be fruit, fruitless, man. You'll always have something spiritual to, to commune with to uh, trade with, with one another, you know? And that's why learning every day is essential too. You know, there's never a time where it's like, all right, I learned everything, it's over. Close the book, shut down the YouTube, and, and just wait. No, that's not, the Lord wants us to occupy. All right, stay busy, stay working, stay studying. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna end it with this. Yeah, I wanted the uh, first uh, Sam, uh, Sam, Psalms 1 and 1, but this Joshua 1 is also as good. Uh, Joshua 1 and 6, Be strong and of good courage, for unto this people shall thou divide for an inheritance the land which I swear unto their fathers to give them. Only be thou strong uh, and cor very courageous that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded thee, Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. And that's what it's about. This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of this book, not departing out of our mouth, but meditating and doing you know, all that we can to the best of our ability because, we, of course, we're rehearsing the righteous acts, you know. And those are some, some uh, key components to building, you know. Hopefully, you brothers was edified. You know, Lord willing, I might do a couple more psychological videos on the, you know, the human spirit. You know, scriptures speak about just, you know, how your spirit ought to be these, you know, motivational-based videos because we need it. We need a lot of these these this type of understanding you know, uh, in the times that we're living in, you know, to stay with a level head. All right. So I want to end it by giving all praise and glory unto you. How about Shemal Shah, by Shemakakwadash, the bonus to the pastor and others, a great millstone. Shalom, Amakim.